the far right adopts, adapts and exploits hot button issues. On this particular slide, you'll see a young man by the name of Jackson Sparks. And this is something that the movement does to exploit things. And this is what, what this is, is fear. It's fear mongering. And this is one of the key recruitment aspects that these groups have. And I, I think a lot of people, when you think of far right and you think of this extremism, you don't think of fear. I could tell you that when I was involved in it, if someone had told me that I was afraid of something, I would have told them they were a liar and that I wasn't afraid of anything. But when you break down this ideology and you break down what they stand for, it is almost entirely entirely fear-based. So this young man, Jackson Sparks, he was killed in Waukesha, Wisconsin in the Christmas parade where a black man had drove his car into the parade and, and killed a bunch of people. Now, that was a horrific event, obviously. I don't think his parents realized that some of these groups are, are doing this sort of exploitation, but what they're doing is they're playing on that fear. They're telling people, look, this black person did this terrible crime, and now you should be afraid that that's going to happen to you or your family, so you need to get involved. And that's quite often what spurs different people to get involved in these groups.